Is Forza Motorsport the ultimate driving simulator? I'm going to put it to the ultimate test here because I've just driven this car in real life. Yes, a Ferrari 4A8 GT Challenge car. Absolute beast. Best car I've ever driven. And I've got the exact same car here in Forza Motorsport. So I'm just going to let you know how it is. But I want to start off by saying this is scarily realistic. I've, I've thrown a lot of shade at Forza for not having as detailed interiors as Gran Turismo, but fundamentally this car is not in Gran Turismo, it is, full, it is in Forza, and this is exactly what I remember, this Alcantara uh, steering wheel, the circular one on the OG48 uh, Challenge, the uh, dash there, everything on the right hand side, it's like scarily real, how does it sound as well, let's see. Yeah, sounds pretty good as well, so let's see how it is to drive. Oh, I just remember that acceleration is like so ferocious. Just imagine you're sat in this car in real life and it moves like this. <laughs> so good. Now I did have TC on when I drove this car, but I don't have TC on here. Yeah, that sensation on the brakes have just been so good. And you hear that little chattering? It's very realistic. Now, what I noticed, I, I crashed this car, by the way, in real life, or I span it a couple of times. So I do know what it's like um, at low speed, actually having the back end come round. Let's see if that's realistic. Yeah. Yeah, and you can you can feel it through the wheel like you do in real life. It, it, the really interesting thing, right, is in real life... You cannot perceive the back end coming round through through the horizon alone. It's like it's the sensation you get in your in your ass, and it's the feel you get actually through the wheel. Now the sensation is is a thing you get the most, but I did still spin it in real life. In Forza, so you can ignore the horizon. That's just too late to on its own to rely on. We don't have the sensation, and I've used motion rigs and all a waste of money by the way. So is the wheel going to give us that? Let's see. I feel like this one revs a little bit quicker than the one I was in. Yeah, that shattering is so realistic. Yeah, careful. <laughs> careful once it goes. <laughs> once it goes, it goes, you know? Oh my goodness, this is so good. This is where the track day experience in Forza, the RPG stuff, makes so much sense. Because it's quite expensive to drive this car. <laughs> and yet in Forza, you can have a experience with it for the price of your Game Pass subscription. So... I just remember there being so much grip. Like at that speed, there would just be so much grip. I feel like Forza understeers more than in real life. In real life, I mean, that corner, I feel like... I don't know, maybe I was going slightly slower in real life. Oh, have I gone too hard? No. Oh, a bit too much end of braking. Right, let's see if we can really get that back end moving. Oh, it's moving now. That would be a big crash in real life, I'm sure. Up the gears. Let's try and brake again, get that chatter. Oops. Yeah, you can see there, like, that is kind of, I think, what I did in real life, is like, you get the grip, and then you have so much grip that when you turn, it actually sort of really chucks you in. <laughs> so it's really chucking you in. And, and if at that point you get on the power early, it's just going to, at relatively low speed, it's going to spin you out. I mean, but I have to say, I'm I, I could spend hours, and I will spend hours in this car just... And it's a, it's a very... I can tell you, viewers, it's a very good recreation of this car in real life. See, that understeer there, 
I think we need to tune the car a little bit because I think that is a bit too much understeer. I feel like we're revving it maybe slightly early, aren't we? I feel like I was a lot more relaxed driving this car in real life because you just have the comfort of the added sensations you get that you feel more in control and you have to be calm whereas in the game I just it, it, because I'm perceiving three dimensions through a two-dimensional screen I don't feel as relaxed and I think my driving is quite tight and I'm counter steering a lot there we go again there um, but it's a very, very, very cool sensation, and yeah, it looks and sounds very realistic. So I wasn't expecting this video to be this positive about it. <laughs> I thought, oh, we just won't feel the same, but it really does. So hopefully that's helped you. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to support me do more, hopefully driving in real life. Your support means everything. Let me know if you've got any questions about how it was to drive this car in real life, and I will see you all. See you next time.